Oh, this one comes with the key generator and the crack. This version of the ISO that I downloaded also, just like we noticed in the first tutorial. But we're going to go to Auto Run. Here's an image. Alright, we can open it. Now let's modify it. So let's go to Edit. Here we are in Paint. She's cute and all, but we're going to go ahead and delete her. She's not very much used during installation. And make the background black. So and I'm going to go ahead and write my name. Give me a little bit of credit for this. they'll see this and realize finish your serial for free. We're just going to go to our key generator, which is noisy, and we're going to select underground 2, and here's the key. As a review from the first tutorial, I do not like keys with zeros or O's in them because I get them confused very easily, so we're just going to copy key exit. Let's go back to the image and just paste it in there. I found the easiest way to display it is to put them in each section vertical. Go ahead and move this. Now we won't be able to save this back to the CD. You're going to get an error when you try to save it. You're going to try to replace it. You can't do it to read only. But, so we're going to try to save it into the folder that we made. Remember, this is method one. Part two, method one, which is our image method. This is the image. We're going to go ahead and save it right there. Now we don't need this anymore. Now we're going to look around in the disks for a file we need to crack. Here it is, speed2.exe. This is the file that we need to crack. So let's, now we know when we create the second ISO, we need to replace this with the crack. So let's go back to our ISO maker. Go ahead and rename it if you feed underground 2. C1. And we mounted CD1 and drive F. Drive H is CD2, even though it's not saying it for some reason. Let's go ahead and copy all files from there and drag it into the portion of the program which we use put the files that we're going to run to an ISO. So here we are. Now this is basically a copy of the ISO that we downloaded online, but we want to modify it by replacing the image, so we're going to go to Auto Run where we find the image, delete the image that's already in there, let's go to our method 2 folder, or method 1, image, where we saved the image, and we're going to copy this into there, let's check to see if it's there, there it is, so we're going to go ahead and save this ISO into this folder. quickly today. <laughs> now it seems to be slowing down a lot. That's alright. Alright. And now we can delete all the files that are in that ISO we just created because we don't want to create another copy of it, which we could. I'm going to rename this. CD2. We have CD2 mounted on drive H. So let's go ahead and explore drive H. Copy all these files into there. Speed2 is the is the game executive file that we want. 